at his best. Oh, no way! Straight on the floor of the line, it's a very good catch. Crunched, over mid for six. Hello everybody and welcome to Highlights. This is an important T20 series. Of course, the build-up to that uh, T20 World Cup is not that far away. Afghanistan versus Ireland. And we are set to go from Sharjah. So this is really important. This one, the first of three. And of course, the first game is going to be so important. Let's have a look at the uh, the teams that are involved in this encounter for starters. And if we just have a look at uh, the lineup of uh, Afghanistan for starters, the great news is that the captain, Rashid Khan, is back. So he's going to be an important player. Farouk, of course, is going to be also important. Naveen or Huck as well. And Nabi and Amazai are going to be uh, important. And then a couple of openers who are very experienced as well. And for Ireland, well, their lineup is uh, key because uh, Balberni is there and Sterling. Now, they're a couple of loading batsmen who need to play really well to get a good start. Texter has been in good form. Tucker as well. And uh, Josh Little is in the lineup as well. So that's great news for them. And Afghanistan have won the toss and they have elected to bowl first. Let's join the highlights with our commentators. A little bit of swing into the right-handed Balberni and Ireland off the mark straight away. What a ball that is from Faisal Akfaruki. It started to swing in, hit the seam and went away. This was nearer the middle. And it's also now gone to the boundary for four. Ireland's first boundary of this series. And that'll be four more. Bad ball from Omar Zai. With fine leg up in the circle. That was an absolute gimme. That's what Sterling does so well. Clears that front leg and goes over the offside. It's a favourite area of his. Bad ball that from Faisal Haq Faruqi and he knows it. A drag down and with fine leg up in the circle. Sterling happy to put it away for four. Oh, that's a fantastic pickup. Has he got enough on it? Yes, he has. Lovely shot from Andrew Balberni. Helping that one on its way. It was swinging into the right hander. Oh, it's a good catch. That's a wonderful catch. Very fine work in the covers. They've broken this opening stand. Had to die full length. Now Bernie's the man that's on his way. Celebrations begin. Just not in control of the stroke. That was a sensational catch. Well, Bernie goes for 22. Gurbaz making the mark with the catch. 38 for one. Oh, that's hit beautifully. That is right out of the screws, and that has gone for six. That is a big hit. Who might be out? He is out. Karate has picked up his first wicket. Well done, sir. Brilliant stuff. Debut. Shot just trying to help it on its way. Wanted to play it fine, getting the leading edge, and simple catch for Mohamed Nabi. Jubilation for captain and the bowler on his debut karate. Great energy from Afghanistan. Frustration for the batsman. Tucker goes for four, 54 for two. Muhammad Nabi, what an outing he had in the One Day International. He's got his best figures against Ireland, four for ten. Oh, that's. That's a good shot for a second, you would think that 
the fielder might just be there doesn't make it brilliant turn I tell you it's a master class young man this is straight into the hands of the fielder he's got him Rashid Khan gets the man Paul Sterling his counterpart Straight to long on, he knew he was in trouble. Ibrahim will not drop that. Rashi's back, baby. He's in the wicket column. Sterling's got to go for 25. 66 for three. Rashid Khan into the attack, into the wickets. Gone! Rashid! Rashid Khan is back in charge of ups. This moment, people were waiting for. Listen to the crowd. Listen to the noise, everyone is just enjoying it. Rashid Khan is back and back with a bang. It is 84th wicket to him. In the T20Is, he's the fourth on the list. And what a moment, he's on a hat-trick. Oh, I tell you what, Rashid, we've missed you for the last four months. We have missed you in blue. New batter, attack the stump, it's the googly at the back of the hand, Curtis Camfer, that's ambitious. He's seen it all before as Rashid Camfer goes, first ball duck, Ireland are in real strife, 66 for four. Two slips in play. Set themselves up for the googly, but will Rashid bowl that big leg break? Oh, googly beats the keeper, it's going to go for boys, it's all happening. Four boys. He went for the googly. He had two slips in play. Neil Rock didn't know which way it was going, nor did the keeper. Gone! It's, it's a procession. If it's not wrist spin, it's finger spin. Neil Rock into the side and out as quick as he came. Nangalai Harote making a statement, announcing his arrival on the international stage. What an asset turning out to be for Afghanistan. A great debut in the one day and a wonderful debut. Look at this. No clue, nothing at all. Turns just enough to beat the bat and disturb the furniture. Nangyalai Harota is second for him alongside Rashid Khan. Nile Rock departs after making just one Ireland or 72 for five. It's been so good since we've seen him. You're talking about 140. A great shot from Tekta. It's into the crowd. Six for Harry Tekta. Tremendous blow. Dropped. Faisal Hak Faruqi had a lot of ground to cover from short, fine leg. Here's that drop catch. Yeah, this would have been more than handy for Afghanistan had he held on to this. Fortunately, when you're running like that, it always seems like the ball's going over your shoulders. And you could see he had to extend the arms right at the last minute because he wasn't quite under the ball. Miscued from Delaney. Has he got away with it? Yes, he has. Oh, goodness me. Ibrahim Zadran has actually need it for four. Brings up the hundred. It's hit pretty well. Might be out. Is out. Karode has picked up a catch as well. Well, who writes his scripts? That's the question I have to ask you, Mike Aisman. It's all about that man, the magician, Rashid Khan. Karote deserves credit too. An excellent catch held by him. Delaney's gone for 16. Ireland 107 for six. Avino Huck loves bowling this situation, but that's a fine shot to start. That's gone for four. Has set up this over nicely. Can they get 10 off this over? It's got underneath that one, and he's crashed that for four. That's a fine shot. That is a screamed across the turf. That's a good shot. That's what he was looking to do. Straight down the ground, and this is a terrific over. 
It's got underneath that too, and that's gone. That's gone for six. That is a terrific hit. That has gone a long way. What a start to the over that is. Oh, he's picked up that beautifully. The length was wrong. That is a magnificent shot for six. He's driven that strong. That might be four. It is four. That's right out of the screws again from Tech. He's a wonderful player. And he does. And he's hit it well. And it's four more. That is superbly played. And it brings up 50 of 33 deliveries as well. This is one fine knock. Well, it's a fifth T20I 50. And this man here, Harry Tom Tector. And that's away as well. That's gone for four. What a superb performance this is from Harry Tector. 56, 34 balls, a strike rate of 165, seven fours, two sixes, and Ireland end up with 149 for six. That is outstanding work. And there's the target. Afghanistan need bang on 150. They got 20 overs and they got uh, seven and a half runs per over. We're going to have fun in the second innings. Hundred and fifty to win. Fascinating chase on cards. Oh, pull shot straight away. It's in the air. Opportunity gone. Curtis Kempfer completes the catch. Shot. It was going away from the right-hand batsman, getting the top edge. And very well judged catch on the boundary. Fingers pointing skyward. He made sure that his concentration was up to the mark. Celebration time for Ireland. Gurbaz goes for a duck. Afghanistan one down without scoring. It's up in the air. It's up in the air. You don't give Harry Tector an opportunity in the field. Trying to force the pace here. But not quite in control of the stroke. A little bit of extra bounce. And a fine catch taken. Fine running catch taken. Two wickets down. For four. Atal goes for one. Bowled him. He won't be contributing tonight. Ireland are on a roll. Excellent piece of bowling once again. Pitching the ball up. Excellent seam presentation. Getting the ball to swing back into the right-hand batsman. He's celebrating. Ireland celebrating. They are on target. Three wickets down for four. Azmuth Lomarjai goes for a duck. On hat-trick. Quick single. Good cricket. Earlier on, top edge. One bounce, four. That's what pressure does. In the air, just over Harry Tector at mid-off, and it will trickle into the boundary. Oh, that's big. That's big. Not that big. One bounce. It's going to be... Giving it back to them in the air. Finds the gap. Will go away for four. Down the ground. That is a beautiful cricket stroke. An impressive stroke down the ground from his hat. That 
that's gone for four. That's nicely played. That's nicely cracked. And out. Couldn't have hit it straight into him. It went like a rocket. He has struck. That is an important wicket, just as they were getting going. The partnership of 29 has been broken. And again, all the talk about the return of Rashid Khan from injury. Here's an Irishman back from injury. The 25-year-old Ben White had a stress fracture of the back, brought into the team. He's got a good wicket-taking record in T20i cricket in particular. Maybe a little bit fortunate. He's picked out the man. And Barry McCarthy points the ball to the sky and says, thank you very much. Down goes that third wicket. In fact, it's the fourth wicket, isn't it? It's Ishak who's gone for 30, and it is now 41 for four. And the air gone! It's another wicket for Ireland! And that's why I was saying this man could have the answers. A shorter man in mid-off, it would have just sailed over his head. Really good, just spot on, Tino. Barry McCarthy, he makes things happen. Really good, Harry Tector. Ireland all over the men in blue. Zadran, uncharacteristically slow. Gone for 11, 50 for 5. Lovely touch, that is gorgeous. Extra pace on, we thought maybe it may play into the hands of the Afghanistan batters, and that was gorgeous. Called a no ball, the catch is taken. They're celebrating out there, they don't know. Interesting to see, something has to be behind the line. It's tight, isn't it? Very, very tight. And now the island players are complaining. They've seen that replay on the big screen. Josh Little now is trying to explain to the umpire. You can see Paul Sterling's reaction. Well, when all's said and done, we've now got a free hit. Well bowled by White. Nothing Nabby could do about that other than bunt it down the ground for a single. Pulled away, and out. No, no ball this time. Curtis Camfer takes the catch. Ahmed Zai, the debutant, has to go. And Afghanistan is six down. Yeah, he didn't look very happy with the decision, right? So he told the umpire that this time it is out. Look at the reaction. It's interesting if we get to see it. Ijaz trying to hit a big shot. That's his favorite area. But this time around, not able to clear the field there. That's a good catch taken. But White looks very animated, very happy. Ijaz Ahmadzai on his debut makes 16 departs. Afghanistan a bit of a trouble. 79 for 6. Oh, what a fantastic piece of bowling. Ben White, come on, yes. That is a fantastic delivery, and Karote, his stay at the crease on debut is a very, very brief one, the briefest of all. When he comes to bowl his last over, he'll be on a hat trick, and why not? What a beautiful delivery this is. No clue at all. Turns around, hits the off stump. Wide looks very, very animated. Karote on his debut. At T20 departs for a golden duck. Afghanistan 79 for 7. Club down the ground by Nabi. That's Nabi power. Oh, he hits the ball hard. Six. Well, I've seen Nabi hit plenty of those in my time, and he's hit another one there. gone up very high indeed and the catch is taken by Tector that's four for Ben White 
Naby is out. He missed on his hat trick, but he'll take the wicket off Muhammad Naby. He was a bit away from him, tried to go for the shot. Got the height, couldn't get the distance, safely taken. The hope for Afghanistan was Muhammad Nabi departs after making 25. Afghanistan in much trouble now, 92 for 8. That's a full toss. It's been hit well, but a straight to the third and it's out. So that's another one. Brilliant stuff. Little comes into the attack and he picks up his third. Little a uh, wicket taker breaking the bone of Afghanistan cricket team now. Rashid Khan, the captain. Only person with the ability to change the course of the action is perished. He's caught by Tector. Full toss, trying to smash it down the ground, wanted to hit it through the onside. And went high up in the air. Good running catch taken by Tector. Rashid Khan is out for five. Afghanistan falling apart, 98 for nine. That's cracked. That's gone miles. That's a good shot. That's almost gone out of the ground. What a fine blow that is. It's given that everything that's gone over the top and it's gone for four. And uh, 40 now. That's in the slot a little bit. Spit out. There it is. They've done it. What a victory that is by Ireland. Outstanding work. They'll be so pleased with this. It is a big win. It's the second time in the last 23 games that they have bowled Afghanistan out. So that is a big victory. The captain, Paul Sterling, will be absolutely delighted. Brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. Impressive performance from Ireland. Trying to whack that one out of the ground. Straightforward catch. The catching. Outstanding throughout the game from Ireland. Ireland getting up by 38 runs. That is uh, a proper victory. What a performance from Ireland. Batting first, 149 at one stage. It looked like they're going to get 130, but a terrific performance by Tekta. Ended up with 56 not out of 34 deliveries to get to that 149. Rashid, 3 for 19. Karote, 2 for 16 on debut as well. And Afghanistan in reply, just 1-1-1. One, one, one. So this is an amazing victory for Ireland. Ishak picked up uh, some runs with 32. White got four for 20. He was the player of the match too, by the way. Little three for 18. And McCarthy picked up a couple. And Ireland win by 38 runs and lead the series 1-0. So a great performance by Ireland. And they'll be very fired up to win the next one as well, I'm sure. But the highlights today were terrific. I hope you enjoyed them. We'll catch you next time. Good night.